Yo, it's your boy Ben. Today, doing a posing video. You guys always love the posing videos, so figured I'd run up another one. We're only gonna do classic physique poses because men's physique, very boring poses. First and foremost, every pose starts with the feet, okay? So if your feet placement is off, your pose is gonna look like shit, okay? Personally, I like to make like a 90 degree angle with my feet. I put my left leg forward more and this one back here a little more. It gives me leverage to kind of like push my waist back more and make it look smaller and twist my waist to the side a bit. So you could just put them straight, but I would definitely recommend pointing your toes out so that you can flex your quads harder and they look bigger. So feet placement, very important. Knees will be slightly bent so that you can flex your quads properly and they look, like I said, a lot bigger. First pose is gonna be a front double by. For your front double, you're gonna have to bring out your lats. So you need to learn like lat control as well. That's another thing. We'll go to the back, we'll go to the back. We'll go through this right now, lat spread. Elbows are gonna come back here. Hands are gonna go on your hips. You're gonna push your elbows forward while keeping your shoulder blades back and down. and then you wanna lean back a little bit, but that's how you lat spread. In a front double, you're not doing a lat spread, but you still have to bring out your lats so that you create that V taper. So we're here, feet placement, quads flexed. I personally like to hit a vacuum. You can flex your abs if you have good abs, but I have a good vacuum, so I do a vacuum. So I here, I pull the vacuum, I bring out my lats, and I bring my arms up for the front double like this. A lot of people fuck this up. Your upper arm to lower arm ratio. Some people go like this and they put their forearms all the way down here. You wanna bring these like up, I say at like a 45 degree angle between like your upper arm and your forearm. Big difference there. Also don't wanna be like out here. I know some people say like you look wider if you're out here, but I think it looks like shit. Also elbow placement. You don't wanna to come too high up here and you don't wanna come down here, right? So. I say your elbow should be slightly above your shoulders, right? So here. And that's the front double by. Also, we're not going through front relaxed, back relaxed, quarter turns. If you guys wanna see that, we can do that in another video, but this is just gonna be like the main poses. Front double, side chest, back double, front ab. What's the next one? Side chest. Feet placement on this one, very different. Back leg is where all the pressure should be on your back foot. You're gonna drag your front leg against your back leg so that your hamstring pops out. So your leg looks a lot bigger right there. You're gonna flex your glute as well. You're gonna use your back arm to push against your back chesticle. Grab your wrist here. Angle yourself slightly down. You don't wanna be too back here. So you can see the chest there. You want this arm out in front. I like to create a like a right angle between my upper arm and my forearm right here. Yo, hope you guys are enjoying the posing video. Just wanted to pop in and let you guys know, chicken and rice oversized tees just dropped. Got the chicken and rice flag on the wall, you know the vibes. Do you guys want the flags? Do you want the flag? I can drop flags. But yes, oversized tees are now live. They fucking fit perfectly. True to size, I wear a medium, I'm 5'7", 165. I could wear a large if I wanted it bigger, but whatever size you usually are, I would just get that size. We got beige, teal, white, gray, and black. All the colors are valid. My personal favorite is the beige, to be honest. If you guys wanna grab something, chicken and rice dot store for the chicken and rice clothing. Wasn't gonna say anything with the next drop. We're dropping hoodies in teal, hot pink, salmon, black, and beige. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, let's get back into the video. Next is back double. So feet placement here. One foot should be forward. One's back here more. I get on my toe. I flex my calf. I flex my hamstring and my glutes. This is how you should start every pose is getting your feet placement perfect and then work on everything else. So here, calf is flexed, hamstrings flexed, glutes are flexed. Same thing as like a lat spread, but then you're gonna just do a I think you're doing a front double with your back, right? I usually hit like a lat spread first and then go into the back double, so I'm here. This 
same elbow placement as the front double. You wanna have your elbow slightly above your shoulders. Obviously, it's hard to see that when you're doing a back double because you can't see yourself. So if you have like a good posing room at your gym where you can see your back, that would be very beneficial. The best way to get good at posing is to continue doing it and watching yourself back so that you can make little adjustments here and there. So I'm here. Your lighting is gonna play a big role in this pose because if you lean back too far, the light's not gonna hit you and you're not gonna look as defined in your back. But you do wanna lean back more so you create the illusion of a smaller waist. So if I'm here. Before I push my waist forward, my waist probably looks bigger. But then when I lean back, it looks a lot smaller because my, my back is out in front towards the camera, towards the judges. Look a lot wider, waist looks a lot smaller which is what you want in classic. The V taper, run through back double one more time. Feet placement, one foot forward, one foot back, on your toe, flex calf, flex hamstring, flex glute, here. Like I said, you wanna lean back, but you don't wanna lean back too much. If you lean back too much, you're not gonna get any light. Lighting is important with any poses, to be honest. Last one is front ab. Personally, I'll do the same feet placement as my front double, hands over the head, but some people like to do they go on their heel. I would say your, your quad looks a lot bigger like that, but then your other quad just looks like shit kind of, so it doesn't really even out. If you wanna go like that, you could. It's just harder to flex your other leg just as hard and make it look just as big when this one's out in front like flex. So I'll do the same feet placement as my front double. Bang, bang. Hands over the head. A lot of people grab the back of their head like this. You don't wanna do that because it's harder to flex your biceps completely like this with your hands like that. But if you twist your pinkies in and create fists, put them on the back of your head, twist your pinkies in, your biceps are peaked and flexed right there. Feet placement, quads flexed, fists back of the head, blow out all your air and you're gonna tense your abs. Just like the front double, I like to pull a vacuum because I have a good vacuum, but if you have good abs, don't pull a vacuum unless you have good abs and a vacuum, then you could just do both, but they're gonna prefer abs. My abs just suck, so all together. Quads flexing out. You're gonna find when you put your arms up too, your lats will come out, especially if you have like a lat pump and you just hit back. That's the best, because then you just look like fucking V. That's why lat control is so important in all these poses, because bring out the V taper a lot more. And those are, the basic classic physique poses. Like I said, if you wanna see front relaxed, back relaxed, and quarter turn poses, I will do a separate video on that. If you guys enjoyed the vid, drop a like and shit. It's been your boy, we out, peace.